Kuldeep calls us from New Delhi and he has investments in Tata Motors DVR. Hi Kuldeep ji, good morning. What is your question? मेरे पास टाटा मोटर डीवीआर भी है यार शेर है तीन सौ पचास पचास शेर तीस पैसे के बाद राइट सर और सर आप लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टर हैं हाँ मैं कम से कम छह सात महीने तो होगे लिए हुए और तो इतना ही वो लोग सुनते होंगे ओके सर तो आप शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टर हैं और राइट समीत यार वी हैव uh, an investor who's bought the stock at around 375. That was a big move in the last one year, remember. But unfortunately, he's sitting uh, at a loss, mark to market loss of uh, close to around 8% at this point of time. He can wait for the next six to seven months. Should he hang in there or should he cut his losses? Good morning, Nigel. Uh, although the uh, broader view uh, for Tata Motor DVR remains positive, uh, in the near term, uh, it has a trading range of 380-385 on the higher side and 309 is acting as a strong support. Uh, recently, the stock managed to bounce from its uh, lower end of uh, 310 and is now trading around 345. Uh, unfortunately, its cost price is quite high. It's uh, near the higher end of the range. Uh, the breakout uh, would get confirmed only on a sustainable basis once the stock uh, surpasses 385. Uh, my advice would be at current level, uh, if, in case if the stock gives a bounce towards 360, 365, it's advisable to get out of the stock and only re-enter above uh, 385 or else if we get a, a chance to uh, create this position somewhere around 320, 325, then it's advisable to uh, buy around that level otherwise uh, it's advisable to exit on a bounce all right then exit on the bounce is the advice that's coming in